Lost Lake. Now, I don't know how many Lost Lakes there are in Oregon, but we are talking today about the Lost Lake in Clatsop County, uh, just east of the Nehalem, the lower Nehalem River Road. Well, Jay's gonna find out for us how many Lost Lakes there are in Oregon. So while Jay is finding that out, I'll tell you a little bit about the location of the Lost Lake in Clatsop County. Um, it is up a gravel road off of Lower Nehalem River Road. Um, it's about, what, four miles up a gravel road? It's a pretty miles. scary gravel road and like really steep and really narrow. But if you're not afraid of driving and you make it up there, it's worth it. It's a pretty cool <coughs> little lake. Um, stocked with trout, rainbow trout. How many lost lakes are there, Jay? Looks like there is. 14. 14. 14 Lost Lakes in Oregon. Yeah. Uh, back to Lost Lake. So, uh, it's a good spot. It does have a little boat ramp. Uh, you cannot camp there. There's a parking lot with bathrooms, um, but once you leave the parking lot and head towards the lake, there's no other, you know, facilities. Um, yeah. No other facilities. And thoughts on bottom fishing, what happens? Well, there are a lot of snags, but you can do both. Bobber, bottom, boat. And the fish like to do boat. what? Bite. And run under. They like to swim <laughs> down and take your line around the log. So you gotta be on them when they bite or you're just gonna get smacked up. But what's really cool about it is they bite really fast after you cast. So you know, if you got those little kids who so take fishing and they get bored because they're waiting for a bite, probably not gonna have that problem here because as soon as they cast and get the slack out of their line they got a bite yeah if anything as a parent of fishing kids you're probably not gonna have much opportunity to get your own pole in the water so yeah as soon as the kids get casted out there if the bite is on you know they're gonna be catching fish pretty consistently so just don't go when it's too hot yeah in the summer not so good. Spring is really good. That's when they stock too, so you get a lot of fish um, at that time. But yeah, once once they're kind of done stocking, it it does get fished out. So access around the lake. Um, it's bank fishing. Otherwise, there's like a small boat ramp, so you can have a rowboat, no motors, or a little like floating thing. And so uh, it's also like really heavily forested and accessible for fishing. Um, there is a trail that goes all the way around the lake. So you can always just go for a walk too if you want. Um, unfortunately, like some of the spots around the bank are really tight. Um, but if everybody can be good at casting then you can get a few people into a small spot and the fish are usually biting really good so that's helpful okay. right fast most of the time they seem to like the corn power bait a lot yeah they and garlic the garlic too um worms are kind of iffy because like the one time i did try and use worms there you'd cast out and Instantly you were getting a bite, but you'd reel in and it was just these tiny little baby trout that you don't really want to catch because you want them to grow up. And with power bait even, um, they like to steal it a lot. So you're getting a bite, but it's just kind of like a little nibble and then it's gone. So always check your bait at Lost Lake. <laughs> As anyone who uses power bait knows, the rain's your biggest enemy when you're trying to use power bait. Oh yes, and we went, um, it was pouring down rain the mm. entire time. Um, but the fish were biting really good, so we stayed for a long time and fished. So that was cool. Um, and the other thing is bring extra gear with you because there's a lot of snags and if you don't hit one when you're casting out, if you get a bite, that's where the fish like to run. So there's a good chance we had a few fish get away because they swim into a snag and then we couldn't get our stuff back. And uh, so, yeah, be prepared for that. It's a lot easier to avoid snags if you put a bobber on, but 
like she was saying, that's where the fish like to go, so having a bobber is not really going to stop them from snagging you in a log. It just helps prevent you from getting caught in the log when you reel in. It is a good, uh, good day trip, good place to bring your kids.